Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Sagittarius Love Prediction reading for March 4th through March 10th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decided to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my fiery, impulsive, fun, loving Sagittarius. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on, my Sagittarius? Show me spirit, guys. What you got going on, Sagittarius? Let's see. The Hermit. Eight of Swords. Uh-oh. Ugh. Let's see. Whoo! The tower. Three of pentacles. And the high priestess. Oof. Well, Sagittarius. You're in a dark night of the soul. Whomever this is, you would you you. Ooh, I just see you you were tied to someone. Someone has broken up with you, though. Um, and the reason they broke up with you is because there's another woman here. And I'll, I'll be very honest with you. But the Hermit card is can represent a Virgo sun sign. But it can be anyone. But the Hermit card is right next to this Eight of Swords. And that Eight of Swords is all about feeling trapped. Feeling like you can't, you just can't, re, you don't understand. Something has happened. And the, the Swords energy is about mental energy it's about your mind space your mind is trapped it's trapped and it's trapped within this um relationship that you were in because here's a hermit there's darkness here in your mind when it comes to this though because see the tower is in the middle of the reading that's a sudden breakup someone suddenly broke up with you and that's why you're going through what you're going through now you thought you guys were a team you thought you were together for a lifetime, you thought, well, can't say for a lifetime, but you really thought it was going to be moving to that direction, that you were going to be with this person. Um, you thought teamwork makes a dream work. You were a team. You were together. But, honey, this high priestess is there. That high priestess, look how she's peeking out. This this vamp, whoever this this. Anyway, this is the other woman. Here's your other woman right here, and she's been here. She's here. But, you know, people just don't like you. You know, what I always say is that whenever someone sees you doing well or being happy, they want to break it up. And somehow this other woman has broken up this relationship. But I will say this was an angry breakup, and I think that this was an angry breakup. Um, it, it is one of those explosive breakups. Um, but but the problem is is that you're still stuck in this energy. You're still stuck in this energy. There's still darkness. You know, the hermit card, you're still looking for the light because you see no light in this darkness. Um, and this darkness is simply because you're just simply devastated. And I don't even know how else to say it, but I just see devastation because you had no idea that he was ready to break up with you for this because he's there is another woman here. And I think this is him breaking up with you for another woman. Huh, I do, I do. You thought you were a team? And see how this tower card is in between, this three of pentacles is in between this high priestess and this tower. You thought you were a team. Yeah, you thought you were a team, but hey, so he was sneaking and creaking, creeping and ducking and dodging and doing and creep, you know, you know, he was whipping, he was doing other things with other women. And this particular woman he was, you had no idea. This caught you off guard. This was an angry and this was a sudden breakup. Um, I see anger on your part, but I think it was a sudden breakup on his part because I think he left you. I do. I think he, he said, I, he, this is just an ending, you know, poof, a sudden ending. And it's an ending where you just, it caught you off guard because you did not understand. You thought you were a team. You thought everything was going well. And then he broke it off with you. And you simply loved this man. You did. 
Now, give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading to see what additional information the spirit guides want you to know. What additional information do the spirit guides want you to know about this relationship? Why is the hermit card here? Show me spirit guides. Why is the hermit card here for my Sagittarius? Show me why the hermit card is here for my Sagittarius. Sit back, relax, Sag. Let me see if I can get you some clarification. Why is the hermit card here for the Sagittarius? Show me spirit guides. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. That is you. 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 I think that here is the problem. I'm gonna say it's a problem. I shouldn't say it like that. But with the Hermit card here in the Page of Wands, you want that back. You want that free spirit that you had back. You would love to have your energy to be back like it used to be. But right now, you you just feel down and out. You feel darkness. You feel like where's the light? This too will pass, uh, said Sagittarius. I understand. It's hurtful. It's hurt. It's hurt. And this too shall pass. But you used to be such a, a free-spirited, light-hearted, do-your-own-thing woman. And now here you are now feeling down and out, looking for the light. Let's see what the Eight of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. And it's almost like you say this will never pass, but it is going to pass. It is. You're going to come out of this darkness. But show me why the Eight of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Eight of Wands. Oof. Eight of Wands is conversations, communication. But I'm going to tell you something. I see with this relationship, when this happened, um, that there was some type of communication. I almost see, and I, I'm just seeing this, I almost think that the other woman called you. I'm going to be very honest. I almost see that you and this other woman were having arguments back and forth. I don't know. I just see that. Um, I almost also see that you didn't want to let him go with the eight of swords here. I feel like this, you knew you were having conversations with this other woman. She was telling you that he's been coming to see me, that I've been with him. She told you everything. There's a spirit of conversations. You didn't want to let him go. You didn't. You found it hard to let him go until he finally just broke it off with you. And that's why this tower card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the tower card here? For my Sagittarius, show me. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, I know why it ended. She's pregnant. She's with child. That Empress card is there. That's why it ended. That's why he left. That's why he had to let you go. She's with child. She is pregnant by him. She's pregnant. That's why. That's why it was a sudden break. He had to. He, he he wants to be with his child. He wants to be with his child. He knows you're not going to put up with it. He knows you're not going to be with him. You're not going to be with him if he, if, if he has another woman pregnant, but she is with child. So let's see why the Three of Pentacles is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Show me. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. I almost see this as a karmic relationship because I think this relationship, uh, it, it is something here that makes it karmic. I don't know. Um, it feels like something has happened that has come back around full circle. Have you treated someone like this in the past? I don't know, but I see this as a karmic relationship. I feel like this is a karma. He is not, it's, and it's over the three of pentacles. And I feel like something, someone might have been on your team before you might have thought you guys, you know, that he was, that he might have thought that you were his special one too. And perhaps, I don't know, but there's something karmically about this. This is karmic. I don't think you guys were ever meant to stay together. I don't. I think the pregnancy is just what broke it apart. But this is a karmic relationship. There is karma here. There's This is a karmic relationship. So let's see what the high priestess is here. Have you been the high priestess in the past? I'm just going to be honest. Have you been the other woman? Possibly that's what it is too. Turnabout is fair play. Sometimes you know the universe pays back. Let's see. Why is the high priestess here? Show me spirit guides. King of Wands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what I think. I am. Um, King of Wands, that is my husband card for me. 
that's my husband card and I'm going to be very honest with you this man could have been your husband or he's your significant other he's been around with you for quite some time but this is the, you know I think that in the past you have been the other woman too I'm just going to be very honest I think this is a karmic relationship I think you've been the other woman too but this time uh, it has turned around and it's back on you and this woman is pregnant I'm going to be very honest let's start at the beginning of the hermit card can't represent a Virgo sun sign. But this is all about a dark night of the soul. You're down and out. And you really want to be back to being a page of wands how you used to be. But you and this person um, right now, it's, it's no, no. Um, I think this other woman was calling you. Not only was she calling, she was calling you to let you know she was with child. Uh-huh. And, and But you didn't want to let him go at first. You didn't want to let him go, but it didn't matter because he left anyway. He ended it abruptly, suddenly, because once he found out she was had his child, he knew he wanted to be with her. Now, I do see the three of pentacles here, which teamwork makes a dream work. And I don't know what happened here. You thought that this was going to be a relationship. This the karmic relation. This could have been a karmic relationship. You had to learn something from this relationship. Now, I'm going to tell you what I think. It is what it is. Perhaps you've been on the other side. Perhaps you were the other woman because there she is definitely the other woman here. Here's a king of wands. This could have been your husband, your longtime boyfriend, your significant other. But somehow you're, he's not with you anymore. He's not with you anymore. He's with her because she is with child. Because she has his child. I'm going to be very honest. Because she has his child. Let's see what my oracles have to say. Show me, spirit guys. What do my oracles have to say? Show me about this relationship. What do my oracles have to say? Let's see. Let's see. Let's. Okay. Well. They say no. They say no. They say no. And I think they're saying no to you because you were trying to hold on. You were trying to hold on, but you can't hold on. No, you can't hold on. No, it's, it, it, it's not going to work. That's, he broke up with you. You can't hold on. Um, and it's not going to work. And I think they're letting you know you need to move on. You need to move on. You need to move on because he is not, um, he's going to be with her. He's going to be with her. I'm also going to pull this card because it says remain positive because you're so down right now. But it says remain positive because oh, you just need to let go. Let go. Let him go. Because as long as this, uh, this child is here, things will never be the same. As long as this child is here, things will never be the same. Don't, he's, he's, he's broken up with you already and this is, uh, I just see it's a mess. This is a hot mess right now. But he's broken up with you in the past. And this time he broke up with you for good. This was never supposed to be a relationship that lasted. It was a karmic relationship. You needed to learn from this.